Hello team and happy Wednesday. Welcome to our new sales meeting platform that we are gonna implement here so we can communicate better and get our message out on a weekly basis. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna be moving some of our meetings to an online platform. So this meeting will be released every week in addition to our weekly meetings in the office. So the plan is to get out as much Western Pioneer information and much market information to you as possible on these weekly sales meetings. And then when we bring in special guests and have our in-person meetings, that we could just give you more training, more education, more market updates, and more Western Pioneer updates. So more communication, guys, is coming. We're doubling down. We talked about we're already in third quarter. It's gonna go by very fast all the way to the end of the year. And what we are committed on is getting our processes better, getting our communication to you guys better, getting our technologies to get better. We are getting better in every avenue, but it does take time. We have to identify bottlenecks. We gotta see what's working, what's not working, what we need to roll out and pull back on. So. We appreciate you guys' patience with everything, but we are building, and guess what, guys? We are coming. If you feel a slow season right now, if you feel that you know it's a little bit slower in your businesses right now, that's okay to feel that way, but it's not okay not to execute. What do you do under circumstances like this? The market is not gonna get better anytime soon. I will tell you that. Inventory is very low. Feds just raised the rich interest rates again last week and they are meeting again in September. We don't know what they're gonna do, but more than likely, they're not gonna be drastically dropping. At what rate do we need to see rates drop to have a refi quote unquote boom? We need to see the rates at five and a half to 5.75 to create a refi boom. That's not too bad. It's not like we need to see them go back down to two and a half or three percent. We just need it statistically and market uh, analysis experts do say that we need about 5.5 .5 to 5.75 to start creating a refi boom. But are we gonna wait around for that? No, we're not. We need to create relationships right now. We need to create opportunities. We need to drive business and have outreach and go after business. And we also have to remain tougher than ever right now. We are gonna face rejection. We are gonna face buyer fallout. We are gonna face contracts that are together, but a home inspection report is now gonna blow the deal. There's all types of noise and there's all types of things that are gonna happen in this business, but you need to get your mindset right. You gotta prepare and you gotta understand. And like we always say, when you generate, you don't have to tolerate. So continue to generate business, continue to work on your processes, continue to work on your systems and continue to work on your relationships right now. Because when the faucet starts turning on, it could turn on very, very quickly. We have warned our operations to make sure that we're getting our processes down in case things start picking up. We want to be prepared. We want to make sure that we handle your files with the utmost care. We want to make sure our client experience is extraordinary and we want to make sure our loan officer and our realtor experience is extraordinary as well. And that's what we got to do. This is a partnership. Western Pioneer, we have your back. We are getting better every single day and we are going to be the best real estate mortgage broker, not only in town, not in California, but I vouch we are going to be the best ever soon and I'm going to work my ass off until we get to that point. A few things that I want to talk about too, just to keep us updated. The square board. Guys, we got to make sure that we all are participating on this. This should be something that's fun. To earn a square in this market is not easy. A listing taken, a sales opened, or a deal closed are the three squares. Those are all wins and you need to celebrate those. You need to be ringing the bell. Make sure that you are putting them in your spreadsheet under Google Sheets and or filling them out when you come in the office. Now, two things I wanna mention regarding the square board. Annalisa will be sending out every Friday, hey guys, just a reminder to update your squares because we're gonna be posting the weekly results for that particular month. If you don't do so, then we have no idea how to track these things. Okay, so get in the habit of putting in your squares, number one. Number two, our final top five count most likely will not be announced until the second of each month. 
because there are some closings coming in at the very end that we're not receiving the closing package, we're not receiving the check, we're not even receiving notification until the next day or the following day when we already posted the top five. Again, an area that we identified that we can be better on, we just need to postpone it a day to make sure all the results are tallied up correctly. Okay, so that's just one thing that I want to mention. We are going to get better on that as well. Okay, number two I wanted to talk about is for loan officers, we're going to be launching the Weekend Warrior competition game. Okay, open houses, if you're a loan officer, really should not be for you to sit around for three hours and hopefully an end buyer comes in. I want you to guys to do those but we should be attacking real estate agents with our open houses. Meaning, we should go out and ask our realtor partners or go on MLS or go on Zillow and find and map out five to 10 open houses that you are gonna visit as a lender to the real estate agent, okay? So we wanna approach business, but we gotta have some value add propositions. Give them a realtor cheat sheet. What's going on in the market? Give them a rate sheet. Talk about dual branding. You get there, ask them to take a selfie, get on social media, talk to them about those things. But we need to get in front of people. We need more loan officers at Western Pioneer Financial doing open houses, not co-hosting them with agents, but going and approaching realtors at their open house. Believe me, it is tough. It is sales reluctant. But once you get talking to them, it's very easy. And if you wanna go over some trainings on what to say when you get in there so they don't think you're a buyer, uh, giving them the realtor cheat sheet, a value add proposition, that's a way to break the ice and start adding realtors to your database. You talk to them, hey, do you mind taking a selfie over here? Hey, are you on social media? Let's connect. Those are all things that you need to be doing as a loan officer in this market. So Weekend Warrior is coming. Now I'm gonna hand it off to Wendy to talk about a little bit of the processing stuff. Hey team, uh, processors here. Uh, just wanted to give a little pointers, a little help on you guys' loans, so a couple problems that we've kind of come across and we just wanted to see if we can help you guys um, just have a little more communication with your borrowers on a couple things. Uh, the one, you know, a lot of times the borrowers think that they're helping themselves out by paying liabilities through the core, the course of escrow. Um, it definitely helps that if we do have those paid off at the end of escrow through escrow, um, because if they go and pay them off themselves, then we have to show bank statements. There's just, there's other things that can come up. And if we're doing that through the course of the, um, at the end of the loan, we just, we don't want to get hit with those surprises at the end because anytime we have to present new information, there's always a potential for new problems. Um, so yeah, so just, just talk to your borrowers. If we have any liabilities that we're going to pay off, just coordinate it with processing and we'll make sure that that gets handled uh, cleanly. Yeah, and when it comes also to large deposits, we always like recommend um, talk to your borrowers, have a good communication plan with them and let them know what the maximum amount to deposit into their accounts is. We never want to trigger anything and have to back, um, back up and you know get transaction summaries and more bank accounts. Uh, for those large deposits. Again, basically the least we can give to the lender, the better. And so this is just kind of a little quick video saying, hey, you know, we've seen it happen a couple times where um, there maybe could just be better communication with the borrowers. Um, so for large deposits, just double back with, you know, your borrowers, make sure they're not um, going over the allowable amount. And then with, um, for paying off liabilities, just talk to processing, make sure we know what's going on there. Um, oh, and lastly, Addendums, guys. Addendums, make sure you uh, include everybody in on those. We may not upload them, they may not be lender specific, but it always helps to have them and not only processing, but also uh, escrow. We just had an issue with an escrow where they just were never involved in the, the addendums and they're now having to back out their disbursements. Um, so just kind of just make sure we just keep everybody in the loop. Communication, I uh, can't over communicate with us. Um, and we'll, you know, make sure that we handle that and take care, take care of you guys. So. All right, great information team. As they hand it back to me, I will end on this. In a tough market, are you gonna give up or are you gonna be relentless? And that is a quote by Jeff Bezos. 
Amazon performed for many years without profiting. A lot of people told Jeff Bezos that his business model was a joke. He would never make it. They're operating in the red year after year after year and never make it. Look where they're at today. They knew what it took. They were relentless. They didn't have to listen to the naysayers. And there are gonna be people that are gonna doubt you with this market or have a doom and gloom cloud over their head, but pay them no attention. Family even might even make some remarks. Friends might even make remarks. They're not in the position that you're in. Are you gonna give up or are you gonna be relentless? When you're close to defeat, are you gonna rise to your feet or are you gonna just lay down? I'm gonna tell you right now, the culture that I'm trying to build right now is we are freaking warriors. It doesn't matter what's gonna happen. Things are gonna come up. You know, we're gonna have uh, our son or our daughter get sick or break a leg or escrows blow up. There's always gonna be something in life that is happening, but we gotta make sure we stay focused. This is our vehicle to take care of our families. This is our vehicle to be able to put it into investments, hard assets, income producing, assets that generate money for us okay this is our vehicle and i need you to take it seriously otherwise if you're not building your own dream you're going to be building someone else's and you're going to tap out of this business and go get a job and those are facts and where is that going to get you we know the statistic on that seven out of ten people with a job live paycheck to paycheck now there's a lot of people doing noble work in a job and that's totally fine and so much respect for that. But if you're taking a job to just pay the bills, to put a Band-Aid on it, or just to kind of financially, you know, get you a little crumb or two, it's not gonna get you financial freedom. It's not gonna get you to the next level like real estate will. So don't give up on your play. Be relentless right now. These next few months, yes, they will be a little bit tough. I will tell you that right now, but we are tougher. And I keep stating that. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I want you guys to know we have to put our heads down and grind right now. We have to make the contacts. We have to make the plays. And I got to do that myself. Okay, so I'm going to be in role play. I'm going to be in these sales meetings. I'm going to be making my phone calls. And I would love for you guys to be right alongside me doing these items. Okay, so with that being said, thank you for a great sales meeting today. We're going to be working on our videos, getting better. And we want you to level up with us. Have a fantastic week, everyone.